ไม่ได้ดังได้พระองค์กุ้งเนยจมวยยังกุ้งเนยจมน่าหอมเนี่ยลนบาปองเชียกบ้ามองเป็นเชียกันตัวเด็กกรุบตีกันไล่กรุบ
Let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Come on, let's give your pastors a big hand. Holy Spirit is in this place. Bro, what the mean bapa angkong nanti ni? It's so easy to worship here. No pe, dah bro, what the mean bapa ang nanti ni yang sesah dom kang bapa ang ceng pi cumbrau dung cet bah yung. And so today I want to just share with you out of the Word of God. No thay ni nyam cang nom no preh bantu bapa ang makan aluk bang pon ak niya. For the next few minutes. Up, ma, paman neti kray mani. And we're going to believe God. To do something awesome in your life. So you know when we come to church, we should expect God to do something. When we gather with other believers, Small groups, large groups, worshiping or sharing. We should have an expectation. God is going to do something. Someone's life is going to change. Could be your life. How many need something to change in your life today? God could do that for you today. Do you believe it? Do you expect it? Oh, good. Amen. Amen. So I want to just introduce my family to you, my precious wife, Janae Gadbury. So Janae, That is the best woman in the whole world. She's been married to me for 30 years. I know we're too, we look young. But we're really old. So I just wanted to show you my family here, if you can see up on the screen. Uh, that's that's me and Janae, and then some of you remember Taylor. She's come with us several years, and uh, that's her husband. He's our worship leader, Connor. We like him. Connor. Yeah. And he had to be special. To marry my daughter. Very special. And then on the, on the other side is my daughter Sydney. And she's here with our team today. In children's ministry. And the most important person in that picture is sitting on Janae's lap. My grandbaby. Yeah, show the next picture. Yeah. Oh, wow. I want to go home. Look at that. Look at that. So that I, ca I came here and left her there. That's how important you are to me. Uh, yes. yes. So we're so thankful to be here today. And I'm going to join with your team. And just continue to speak on this series, Vision, Obstacles, and Leadership. 
So if you'll do me a favor, this is what we do at home at my church. If you just stand with me in honor of the reading of God's word, we have a very short scripture today. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. And here's what it says. Unrelenting disappointment leaves you heart sick, but a sudden good break can turn life around. Good. The word is good. We find this scripture to be very powerful. Life can be hard. It can be difficult. And there are seasons we go through that are hard. And there are seasons we go through that are easy. Some up, some down. Some good, some bad. But then there are seasons that we cannot understand. And those are seasons when it seems like Things go from bad to worse. It seems like something's hard and then harder and then harder and then harder. And this is what he was talking about in Proverbs 13, 12. Unrelenting disappointment. Disappointment that just keeps coming at you. But what God tells us is that a sudden move of his hand that a very quick move of his spirit can take what seems impossible and literally turn it around. Your heart can be heavy. Then he can fill it with joy. Your problems can be big. But your God is bigger. Let's pray. Father, just anoint us. Use us. Do something significant in our lives today. We lift up praise to your name. We lift up honor to your name. We just ask you to touch us. Just move on our lives. And for those who are facing disappointment. Those who are facing difficulties. Those who have had one negative circumstance after another. Set them free today. Give them life today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. Turn to your neighbor. Say you look good today. Turn to your other neighbor, your second choice. And say, you're just hot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, life can be hard, like I said. It can be so difficult at times. We all love it when life is going well. But 
We all love it when things are going fine and we have provision and everybody's doing well in our family. We love those seasons of dreaming. Looking out into the future and saying, I see what God wants to do in my life. Seasons filled with hope. Seasons filled with joy. It's just so good to be in that place. But we're not always there. And Jesus never said we would be. Sometimes people say or we think that when we become Christian, everything will be fine. But life is still life. And even Jesus said, in this world you'll have tribulation. But the good thing about having a relationship with Jesus is that he also said, be of good cheer. Because I have overcome the world. So life can be hard. But God is always good. It can be difficult. But Jesus is always ready. The Bible says he's a very present help. So even when it feels like he's nowhere around, don't believe your feelings. Believe his word. And his word says it doesn't matter how you feel. He's there. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. No matter what the circumstances. No matter what the problem no matter what the issue he's there amen amen one time i went surfing do you know surfing but I'm not good enough to stand up and surf. So I have to lay down and surf. So I went out in the ocean. And I had what they call a boogie board. It's just a short board. You lay down on it. And you let the waves carry you in. I had never done this before. But it looked fun. How many of you have ever never done something but it looked fun? I saw other people doing it. And they were having fun. They were smiling. They were riding the waves. They were right into the beach. And they would just stand up. And say, yes, this is fun. I never learned how to do it. I didn't ask anybody how to do it. I just decided I would do it. So I got on the board. And I swam out there. Turned around. And a wave got me. And I started riding on that wave. And that's how life is. You can just be riding on a wave. And it's so much fun. And it's so exciting. But what no one told me was that if you get ahead of the wave, the wave will beat you to death. So I got out on the wave too far. 
And my board dropped down in the water. And the wave came on top of me. And pushed me down on the ground. And then another wave came in. Hit me again. And then another wave came and hit me again. I thought I was going to drown. I finally got up. I couldn't breathe. It was no longer fun. That is how life is. There are seasons in life where everything seems fine. Getting along. You're getting along. Family seems okay. You have provision. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a wave crashes over the top of you. And as if that's not bad enough, another wave comes on top of it. And, and another wave comes on top of it. And sometimes it feels like you're going to drown. It feels like you can't breathe. It feels like you're not going to make it. That's what the person in Proverbs, writing Proverbs was saying. Unrelenting disappointment. Wave after wave of disappointment. Can make your heart sick. Have you ever felt like your heart was broken? Have you ever felt the deep pain and hurt of disappointment? Where things didn't turn out like you thought they were going to. Where you had a dream but it hasn't come to pass yet. Where you know God promised you something but it still isn't happening. And your heart yearns for it. Your heart wants it. But it seems like it's not there. It's that deep disappointment that truly makes you feel hopeless. And hopeless. Joseph in the Bible was 17 years old and he had a dream and it was no small dream. It was an enormous dream. He didn't know why God gave him the dream. He didn't know why God picked him but he knew God had picked him. God gave him a dream. And in the dream, God told him, you will rule. In the dream, God said, you will be the leader. Not only of your nation, but of another nation, so that I can save your nation. You will be the leader of your whole family. He was almost the youngest in his whole family. And God said, you will be the leader. Over all your brothers. Over uh, all your parents. You will be the leader. This is what I want to do with your life. That's exciting. Wouldn't that be a great vision for God to give you? But 
But what happened next was horrible. He told his vision to his brothers. And when he told his vision to his brothers, his brothers became very jealous. And they didn't want him to be the leader. So they began to hatch a plan to get rid of Joseph. Some of them actually wanted to kill Joseph. But the oldest brother said, no, we can't kill him. But they threw him in a pit. Sold him into slavery. And told his father he was dead. Joseph went into slavery. God had just told him, you're going to be the leader. But now, would, but now he was a slave. How disappointing. Your, your own family sell you into slavery. So disappointing. So he worked in Potiphar's house. And because he was faithful to God. God blessed him. And he blessed the house he was a slave in. So they made him the leader of the whole house. But that still wasn't his dream. He was away from his family. He had to learn a new language. He had to change everything about his life. The vision God gave him didn't seem to be coming true. His master loved him. But his master's wife was a bad woman. And she tried to seduce him. And Joseph ran from her. She, she accused him of trying to rape her. So, so they threw him in jail. So God gives him a vision that he'll be a leader. He gets sold into slavery. He does well. Gets falsely accused. And now he's in prison. One wave. After another. Crashing on his life. I think we hear this story. And then I think we don't realize how disappointed he must have been. He finally was made the leader of all of Egypt. And that Vision finally came to pass. But when God gave him the vision, he was 17. The vision didn't come to pass until he was 37. And everything from 17 to 37 was one disappointment after another. Life can be so hard. Janae and I, my wife Janae and I, a few years ago wanted to have a baby. 
We wanted to have she pregnant. She we wanted her to get pregnant. Uh, and uh, this has been a lot of years ago. We do not want her to get pregnant now. <laughs> yes. But we wanted to have a baby really bad. She was around 25 years old. And we were newly married. And we just wanted a kid. Children are a heritage of the Lord. They're a blessing. Children are a blessing. And we wanted a child. We went to the doctor. And the doctor said it's not going to happen. Something's physically wrong. It's not going to happen. We were so sad. So disappointed. Because we wanted it so bad. And we believe God wanted us to have a child. We believe God wanted to bless us with children. So we were deeply heart sick. So we begin to pray. We begin to seek God's face. We begin to say, God, give us a baby. Give us a baby. Every time we prayed, give us a baby. Every time we were with our friends, pray, we pray, give us a baby. Every time at church, when we didn't feel like it, we prayed. When it didn't look like it was going to happen, we prayed. And we believed God it would happen. And one day, it happened. She was pregnant. Yeah. So it was awesome. We were so excited. God did a miracle. It's going to be amazing. This child has purpose. This child is full of, going to be full of God. It's going to be great. So the time came for the baby to be born. And she flipped upside down. In, in Janae's womb. And the, and the doctors became afraid. And they said, they said, we're going to have to do surgery. So we can get the baby. And be safe. And so we went in for the surgery. And they started to take the baby out. And it was very difficult. But finally they pulled the baby out. And they held the baby up. She was dead. Completely blue. No life. We were so sad. Heartbroken. No crying. We couldn't hear the baby crying. The baby should be crying. No crying. And so we prayed. And we kept saying, why isn't she crying? Five minutes went by. Ten minutes went by. 15 minutes went by. No breathing. No heartbeat. No sound. No movement. But our doctor wouldn't stop. And after 15 minutes of no life, our baby came alive. And 
And they came by and they said to us, There's, she's going to have a lot of problems. She may have mental problems. She could be deaf. She, she might have all kinds of issues. Simply because no oxygen to her brain. But can we bring a picture back? Of the baby. Of the baby. Bring the grandbaby picture. That baby is the daughter of the dead baby. It may seem like life is too hard. It may seem like your heart is going to break. But our God is bigger than our problems. Our God is bigger than our issues. Doesn't it matter the attack of the devil? It doesn't matter how hard the God is able. He's able to meet your needs. He's able to walk you through. He's able to help you. Just like he helped Joseph. Just like he helped Abraham. Just like he helped Apostle Paul. Just like he helped me. He can help you. So don't let your heart be sick. Don't let disappointment win. But stand in your faith. And know that God is able. Nothing is impossible with God. And nothing is impossible for those who believe. That baby who was dead is Taylor. My oldest daughter she just graduated college. She's going to be a teacher. She's been here many times. She gets up every Sunday. And she leads worship in our church. And the devil tried to steal her breath. But God breathed life into her. And now every week she gives that breath back to God as she lifts up praise to his name. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says all things work together for good to them who love God who are called according to his purpose so even though there may be good times in life they may be bad times in life hard times in life Season after season of hard times in life. The thing that's so amazing about God. He'll take the bad. He'll take the good. He'll take the sweet. He'll take the salty. He'll put it all together and he'll make it good for you. It may not seem good now but God will turn it. When Joseph's brother stood before him and he was providing for them he said something very important to them. What you meant for evil God used it for good. So even when others hurt you just say to yourself God's going to take this He's going to turn it around and somehow 
I don't know how. So turn it around. And it's going to be for my good. So I'm not going to get mad at them. I'm not going to fail to forgive. Because I know God's going to use it. Now, these are the ingredients for a dessert you like. Now, what is this? I don't know what this is. Okay, what is it called? Did I say it right? Yes, thank you. It's sweet. Tastes so good. You like it? Who wants it? Who wants it right here? Who want? Let's see. Let's see who's going to come and get it. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, she's coming. She's running. Oh, yeah. I like this. I like this. It's like her shirt. Oh, she just took it. She just... No. Oh, it's. No, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me have it back. Give me that. Come here. 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 Come back. Come, come all the way up. Come all the way up on the stage. Oh. Didn't know what you're getting into. <laughs> so this is good. But I'm And she, you like it? You like this? Yeah. Yeah. No, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's really sweet. You like to eat it? But I'm okay. okay. So this is just the dessert all together. Right? But the 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 dessert is made up of different ingredients. Can, can I get a spoon or something like that? Okay, so you like this? Do you just want to eat this? Oh, thank you, thank you. Just let's take this a bag of this. Sugar. Sugar. It's okay, mom. Are you going to eat sugar? Straight sugar. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, that time, Grung Sam Moy did. Hi, Jam Yotoka Lock, no can canong. What's this? What is this? I don't even know what that is. No, 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 no. Coconut, coconut cream. It's coconut cream. And it's tea dong. We put up a nivea, mean crumb some of it. Don't I? A lot of tea dong, my dong. Oh, I sell. And I'm not a year, not a mom, my rooted in. Oh, let's not this salt. Oh, but I'm not getting that ball. I get bang ball. Let's see. Let's see. What get bang by? <laughs> Come on. You want, Come on. you want it? Come on. You want it? <laughs> you don't, why, don't, why don't you want it by itself? You don't like it? It's salty? That's Praia. why you don't like it? Praia. Huh. So you, you like the sugar? You like the coconut milk? I You don't want the salt here? I don't understand. You like the you like the sugar? So I don't know what what is this. Uh, it's a. Uh, oh, tapioca. You like tapioca? But I am not get She don't know. It's good. Just try it. <laughs> okay, so look. You want to bring her some water? You can bring her some water. Yeah. What's her name? Okay, so Emma. Come here, Emma. I love Emma. Some sort of such a good sport. Emma loves this. This is Emma a good got dessert. Up, I'm the gate for Harry. And I'm going to give it to her because she deserves it after all that. But when we begin to break the, 
the ingredients of the dessert down. Young Joe Chet Paim at Alatta Paul Chong Crow, Pantai Basan, but young Joe Krum Sam on bike with Chen Pick Nibbing. And it wasn't all together. Hi Krum Sam Nino Pedaka Ton Lee with Fuji Pang I'm the Lai. There were some really good parts. Oh, me and a Pnai Clatch Nanda Paim. Like sugar. No score. She liked the sugar. A young Joe Chet Scar, a Maka Chet Scar. And she was okay with the coconut. Hi, Akti Dong, I tattoo your ban. But the salt, she wanted the salt. But I'm Balway at Chang Bane, but I'm pray. Because it's not good. It doesn't taste good. We are we are See, this is how life is. This is how life is. There are really good parts. Really sweet parts. And then there are some really salty parts. But the thing that's so awesome about God. So take the disappointments. And he'll take the victories. And he'll put them all together. And he'll give you something that's really good. So, as I close, give her a hand, give him a hand. As I close, I just want to tell you four things you need to do. Four principles to build vision, overcome obstacles, and lead forward. One, learn to forgive. God's going to use it for your betterment anyway. So learn to let it go. Don't hold things against other people. Joseph focused on where he was going. He didn't look back. Number two. Be determined through your disappointment. Sometimes when we get disappointed, that's, that's all we can see. But we need to get our eyes off the disappointment. And get our eyes on Jesus. Sometimes Jesus will deliver you out of a circumstance. But a lot of the time, Jesus will walk you through the circumstance. It doesn't matter if you come out. It doesn't matter if you go through. What matters is who's with you. Jesus is with you. Number three, be committed to your purpose. Know who God created you to be. Keep your eye on that vision. Don't worry about anything else. But it's not happening. Don't look at what you can see. Get your eyes on what you can't see. You may not be able to see Jesus working on your problem. But he is more real than your problem itself. And then number four, stay focused. The Bible says, set your face like flint. Um, set your face. I don't know. But just stay focused. I love this saying. 
You cannot start the next chapter of your life. If you keep reading the last chapter over and over again. So life can be disappointing. And you, it can be hard. But we serve a God that changes everything. No reason to be hopeless. No reason to fear. No reason to give up. No reason to quit. No reason to quit. Because no matter how hard it looks, God is able. God is able. God is able. Jesus is able. He can do it. He will do it. Let's stand. I want to just be really quiet for a minute. I want you to focus on me for just a minute. I just want to pray with you. And I want to pray for a specific people. I'm just going to have you stay at your seat. And we're all going to pray together. But if you're a person, who's really been struggling with disappointment. That things aren't turning out like you thought they would. You haven't received the promise yet. You're waiting. There's a song I love. And it says, God is in the waiting. A lot of times we feel like he's nowhere. But that's where he is. When we're waiting, he's right there. And he's putting faith in our hearts. And he's reminding us of the promise. He's encouraging us to hold on. Don't let go. Don't quit. Just set your faith. Just keep moving. Just keep waiting. Just keep believing. Because God will come through. Our God cannot fail. He is not capable of failing. So what are you dreaming? What's the dream in your heart? What's the vision in your heart? What's the promise you know He gave you a promise? Fix your faith on it. Fix your faith on your God. And he will lead you to it. So if you're dealing with disappointment today, if you've had one hardship after the other and you thought to yourself where's God? I want you to raise your hand up right now all over this audience I see hands going up all over this audience I believe God wants to help you now Hope can turn it quickly. Listen to me very carefully. Joseph was in slavery. Joseph was in prison. And it was a long time. But when God moved, it was Overnight. He went from being a prisoner in the prison. 
to being the leader over the entire nation. Overnight. So it may seem long now. But hold on to your dream. Hold on to your promise. Do not let it go. Do not let it go. Hold it fast. If you see somebody's hand up beside you, if you see their hand up, oh, reach over and put your hand on them. We're going to pray. pray for them right now. We're going to pray for them right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just put hope. We declare hope. We declare encouragement. Holy Spirit, have your way. Help them to see the vision. Help them to keep dreaming the dream. Help them to hold on to purpose. Help them to hold on to love. Help them to hold on to grace. Give them their promise, God. Fulfill their dream. Impassion. Give them passion. Give them boldness. Give them encouragement. Work it together for their good. នៅពេលដែលព្រះអង្គមានព្រះបន្ទូលក្នុងព្រះកពីបានចែកណាស់គ្រប់ទាំងព្រះបន្ទូលរបស់ព្រះបន្ទូលនោះនឹងមិនត
ขยมจังทวายจีวัตบอกขยมนัทไทยในตลอดพระเยซูคริสต์ขยมจังตัดตัวบอกอ้อมทวายจีเปรอมบิจักในจีวัตบอกขยมส้มเจอยางบอกขังมุกให้บ่ามาโมยมัดแพะน้อมมัดแพะบอกยังมาจีมวยได้กำลังบอกในไอ้ให้ซัวมัดแพะบอกยังกอดจังทวายจีวัตได้ในกอดนัทไทยในบอกกอดจังน้อมกอดมาจีมวยหรือก็เอาลูกบอลบอลในกระปงตะจุบไปหาเซมเซนของจีวัตบ่าหายจีจุ่มงือบ่าหายจียังตระกาบระยาดองดองการดอกสไลปไปหาบอกยังบ่าหายจียังจ่าติดทานสำหรับประโปรบพระองค์นกนองจุ่มนวลบอกยังนกนองกายบอกยังยังเมียนบอกโอนยังนอตินีจำมาติดทานให้ความโตรจมวนอโลบังโพนักนิสมสมเชยยาบอกขังมุกกุมมาอินให้ยมสมบอลโลบังโพนในนกชอจำตะไลสุดได้ติดทานสำหรับบอกโอนยังได้ลางบอกขังมุกเพราะฉะนั้นบ่ายังเมียนสลงโพติดทานไอ้กระดาวสมเชยยาบอกขังมุกอะไรนี่ดิฉันคงรู้สึกยังเชื่อเลิกการดัดได้อธิษฐานอ้อยคณีตะวันตะมายังเชื่อแต่ปอองหนึ่งปอนโฟเราเยอะดับไปยังฉลองการสถานะเพียบตะอ้อนหนุ่มน้องชีวิตปอเยอะปอองไอ้เฟื่อบานปอองไอ้เฟื่อบานให้เอาลูกบอลบอลมันดงในไอ้ตัวลายสมบัติตาลังมาขมุกพอเส้นไปยังเราเมียนสุนทรพ่ออธิษฐานเซ็งเซ็งบอเมียนเต nhưng bắt chúng mua rồi tận nãy chỉ sắc cam sắc xa đam chơi đơn láng chúng nó tìm rám không được dẹp về đập thay được cam sắc xa thì không thân nặng cam sắc xa đam chơi đơn láng trong từ tua ban chỉ trả đôi chia hôm nay đã tạo chơi đất ập rung không ở ca liên số phía xa nâng ở phía trên đất nòm mình tai bắn nó trong ban ở đi chung ran hàng này đôi chia tổng nợ tổng nông chỉ muốn nâng nợ đợt tây tiết ở đôi chia nơi không có lãnh ca nghe được bọc nhóm sắp thay ngay trong ban bông rá ca nghe nơi không bị xe ở các chó mùi cần lãnh nơi không tìm không phong phấn để mình chung mô thay bác sạc ca ở này được bọc nhóm cư Fly Operation Dispatcher nông rìa phê được nhóm ban thuê ca nơi không tìm nốt nhóm ban rì đo đa thay tiên nơi không tìm tổng đồng chỉ mùi nâng phô cót nhóm ban vô bì ca được nhóm ban riêng nơi không thay chí tạ ái đồng bây ở thôi chưa phần lớn là ngọn bờ được can của quạt đại mình toàn là chưa bỏ ăn phía trán này để thôi can đây tí nút của quạt mình mình chỉ để chưa bỏ ăn mà đây khi ông con bỏ ăn đập bỏ ăn bàn áo khi ông điên thằng chị thì ai hái bàn áo khi ông bàn ông đã càng nghe nơi tí nút hay khi ông bàn ở sập sai nơi ở prepop sập sai nơi ở ở pi ở vậy đã bỏ ăn bàn thôi cả ở trang sẹp nhóm được can của quạt thằng ông này xong chụp số ở lộ đẹp bằng hoàn vị trí than đã đông kem chơi hiện cả láng một ít trong là làm bài chuối ở lộ đẹp làm ra cùng loại mùi thơm mai cái nòng phep chia đẹp đặc nồng phần miên thơm mai thơm mai này khai pi bơ mùi cho nên pi phong đã phần bài này miên cái nghe thơm mai một quan cái lại nó cái nòng thịt cái nòng phần làm bền bàn tay dương sải tay miên dù cái chân tay mở rối ha sập đẹp chốt chùm tay xa khá là thơm phep Mean hard skilled man, mean how to hack a chap here, saw, but hack a chap for a computer, a chap to work on here, but time for a crap. Soft skills, mean how soft skills thing by a good, a crap that appeared them by the norm. A crap that appeared them by rip jump, pine a car, you say, son. A crap that appeared them by twerk out on Kinea, cheer crumb. The chine, which a pan that don't come to cheer you, then chew a lot neck, ban tang here to my, then loud that come up with to my. ในขนมเพียบเชียร์ในดักนอมส้มอากร nhóm rùm phớp ông pi mà ha sơn la bát chris borisat azim hay nhóm ông quân prechim mà cha đại bảo ông saprate ao miên mà ha sơn la bát bài ní nơi khăn ông tật đầy nơi bờ tây campuchia campuchia nam môn nhóm ban tật tu ban tràn nhóm tật tu cả lược tật chết nhóm ban tật tu phep che chua sực đây sờ lạnh bọc nhóm chấm pua prechim mà cha bản can lang sực đây sờ lạnh bọc nhóm chấm pua crom chấm nôm bản can lang sực đây sờ lạnh rồi bọc nhóm chấm pua bờ chết bờ tây chết ní cứ bản can lang đòi xa mà ha sơn la bát chris borisat azim hay nơi khăn ông chấm nôm ní nhóm tuần tung rung chăm khăn mệt tên 
khi nhôm tận tưng rung chạm thế ngay nó mọc đỏ, cứ nó thế ngay tị đập bấy, tới đó thế ngay tị đập rầm muối, khai cả nhà, nó không chỉ nằm nếm, cứ dương nâng miên bật tika, mà hà sơn bát kri bồ sát à gì nó mọc đong tiết, hay xong lục nẹt trim khuôn, lục nẹt tinh sốt ăn hoi, lục nẹt trim ăn chơi mất phe ăn chơi cầm cua sa ăn chơi bong pôn, ăn hoi, chơi rùm, nông mà hà sơn bát kri bồ sát à gì, nó không chỉ nằm nếm, hay lục nẹt nâng mình khọ bầm nòng lại. Lúc này nâng tự tu ban chán bị bệnh chìm chán Chúng nữ ra bỏ lúc này nâng mình nâu đỏ đá Sự kết đây sẽ là như ra bỏ lúc này nâng mình nâu đỏ đá Sự kết đây sẽ là như ra bỏ lúc này Chúng phụ bỏ ông, chúng phụ cồm chân nông Chúng phụ nẹ đỏ tê bệnh chết nâng Chúng phụ bỏ tê chết ra bỏ dương Nâng mình nâu đỏ đá Nhi hai chì bê vừa lìa Sầm rạp lúc này nâng khí nhóm Nhi hai chì bê vừa lìa sầm mẹp bệnh chết chết dương อาคณีเตียงมูลสมเปรียจิมิจาปฏิญปอชูบคณีนัดทั้งไงติดดอกใบนัดทั้งไงติดดอกทั้งไงติดดอกประมุยค่ายกัญญาชนำปีปอนด